This example comes out of section 9.2, Analyzing Rational Functions. Now this example is slightly different than our last two in that we're being asked to compare two functions here. We're going to graph two things, and not just one, and they sure do look an awful a lot alike when you look at the functions themselves. Uh, x squared minus 2x over 4 minus 2x, or x squared plus 2x over 4 minus 2x, only changing one sign. But you might be surprised if you put these on your calculator at what you'll get. Um, this first one looks something roughly like this quite similar to the last two that we drew in that it's a straight line with just a little hole in it, uh, a point of discontinuity somewhere, and we'll figure that what that point is in a second. And if you graph the second one, you might have expected to see something uh, very, very similar, but the picture is remarkably different. Um, something maybe roughly like this on one side, and then like this on the other side, and you get a, a, a graph that looks like that. Um, so clearly uh, something different happening. Now, both of these graphs have a non-permissible value uh, that says x can't equal 2. Uh, so at x equals 2, we've got something happening on the first graph, something happening on the second graph, but that something is very different, a vertical asymptote versus a point of discontinuity. Um, how can we tell the difference. And, and in the last example, I described a little bit of this, but let's take a look closer here. f of x equals x squared minus 2x over 4 minus 2x. If I do a little factoring, I can take out an x on the top. I've got x minus 2. On the bottom, if I'm clever right away, I take out negative 2, and it leaves me with x minus 2 on the bottom as well. So that as long as I remember that x can't equal 2, this function really just looks like y equals negative x over 2. Therefore, that straight line that we got, and sorry, my diagram is a little ugly because it should go through the origin, but it is a straight line sloped downwards with a slope of negative 1. It should pass through the origin, but it does have this point of discontinuity um, that you can't have a value. Now, if I look at the second function, g of x, we have a slightly different situation in that we have x squared plus 2x on the top, 4 minus 2x still on the bottom. Factor the top the same way. Uh, no matter how you factor the bottom, you can't get x plus 2 out of it. And so while x still can't equal negative, or sorry, equal 2, um, instead of having a point of discontinuity there, we have ourselves a vertical asymptote instead uh, because we can't cancel out the factor. And so this thing does not look like a straight line. Um, in fact, has you know two separate curves. Uh, if you do go on to calculus, you'll actually discover that this thing has a sloped asymptote, which I'll show you how to find. Um, but that's definitely beyond the scope of this course. You don't need to know anything about that. Um, but if I was looking for the point of discontinuity, I would just go to this uh, linear function up above here and say, what happens if uh, y, or sorry, x equals 2? I'd have negative 2 over 2, which equals minus 1. And it matches kind of what I see on the graph that this point is at 2, negative 1. <coughs> so again, the difference between the indeterminate form of having a 0 over 0 situation, which results in this point of discontinuity, or having some number divided by zero, in this case, eight divided by zero, which gives me undefined, but gives me this vertical asymptote.